Hello, long time no see. I went to Copenhagen last weekend and I was gonna film it, but I got so scared. But tomorrow I'm going to Belgium. I'm going to Brussels, the home of the French fry, the home of chocolate and waffles. Ah! So I thought I would get back into filming and we can do a little day in the life as an Edinburgh student because I'm going to an art gallery today. I'm gonna be so distinguished and artistic. <laughs> but I have a tutorial today where I was supposed to do like 30 pages of reading. I did not. Fun fact, chai tea lattes in Edinburgh absolutely suck. You do other coffees so well, but chai tea lattes just taste like milk. And so I brought this home and I added some of my instant coffee to it and it somehow made it worse. <laughs> And all I can think about is the amazing chai tea latte I got in Copenhagen. <laughs> okay, let's go to my tutorial. Off we go. <laughs> I'm excited to bring you outside because it's literally so windy. It's 30 mile per hour wind right now. But it is gorgeous. No wind yet. I'll keep you updated. Spook a little too soon. <laughs> this is my walk to my tutorial. It's actually super nice out. I'm so happy. That is my class, right up there. <laughs> this is one hefty cookie. <laughs> okay, let me tell you what happened. So I met up with my friends after class because we we're gonna go to an art gallery. We're on the Royal Mile. <laughs> So we went to the gallery and it was really gorgeous. They had a very interesting affinity for babies. <laughs> like one room was literally just all dedicated to like Italian styled Renaissance babies. This one was my favorite, <laughs> but I really enjoyed the museum. Like there were some really gorgeous pictures and oh my gosh, I literally almost just left out the most crucial integral part of the entire story. So on the way to the museum, we passed by this super cute little bakery coffee shop thing. It was called the Zebra Cafe. And I like turned my head as we're walking because cookies were in the display case. And obviously I just have this calling in my head whenever cookies are around, I turn and I look and there they were, these delicious gooey looking Nutella cookies. I thought to myself, I must have these, but we were on the way to the museum. And I was like, no, I can't eat them now. I'm gonna feel sick and I have to save money and we're going to the museum. So I said, no, I'm not gonna get it. But then the entire time I was at the museum, I couldn't stop thinking about these gooey Nutella chocolate chip, chocolate chip, I wish, gooey Nutella cookies. So I literally left my friends. They were all gonna go to the mall and I said, no, I'm not going to the mall. I'm going home and I'm grabbing a cookie. That's what I did. I went home and I trekked for 30 minutes, cookie in hand, all the way back to my apartment. Walking in Edinburgh can be brutal. First of all, the streets are always super, super crowded. Like you are shoulder to shoulder, nudging your way through the crowd. And I was trying to protect my cookie. It was like, a, like it was a baby, like it was a baby bird in my hand. And then the wind. So the wind was all like whoosh, whoosh, to my hair. I swear, I probably like smacked so many people in the head with my hair, but I couldn't tie it up. I was holding my cookie. I was tired <laughs> and hungry and I wanted my cookie so badly. It was the longest 30 minutes of my entire life. But eventually I got home. I got my cookie. It's, you know, <laughs> little greasy. And I protected my cookie. I was like this. I was like, don't touch my cookie. And I have it. And I'm gonna show you guys. It also, it tore. Sad. It is huge. It is so much bigger than I thought it was gonna be. It looks like this. It, it I swear, is pretty heavy. Wait, I'm gonna pose with my cookie. I almost dropped it. I'm getting cookie all over my bed. This is so bad for the mouse because apparently I have a mouse in my dorm. How do I want to record this? I want to do the the break apart thing that I see on like TikTok videos. Are you ready? Oh, oh I thought it was going to be a bit more melty than that, but there you go. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed with the amount of goo in this cookie. Nutella. Okay. I can't really even taste the Nutella that much, but the cookie itself, very soft. It tastes less like a chocolate chip cookie and more like a sugar cookie. That is good. But they're such liars. Like why make 
that big of a mound if it's not gonna be filled with Nutella. Like I thought this was gonna be bursting with Nutella. Dude, I would give it like a seven, six and a half. Like where's the chocolate? Where is the chocolate? On my way home, I almost stopped in Blackwell's, but then I was like, no, I must not because I am a Barnes and Noble girl. And I, I literally just applied for Barnes and Nobles on their website for in Washington when I get back. I spent 24 hours and they haven't responded. Basically a rejection. Also, I know it's not Barnes and Nobles. I know it's Barnes and Noble, but I can't, the S just sounds so right. Also, do you wanna know what I found out while I was carrying my cookie home? Starbucks, like the flavors of the like holiday lattes here at Starbucks look so much better than the ones in the States. Like, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this, but I'm not a creme brulee fan. I'm not cr creme brulee. Creme brulee. Creme brulee. I'm not a creme brulee fan. <laughs> and, but this one, they had like gingerbread, which I feel like would do so well in the States. And the maple waffle. Tell me that's not the most American thing. You, well, Canadian. But tell me that's not the most North American thing you've ever heard. Oh my God. Maybe I'll get one of my friends and we'll do a Starbucks taste test for the Starbucks holiday drinks that are here and not in the States. <laughs> I have to do that. I have to do that new plan <laughs> alrighty I'm gonna go make myself some dinner and then I'm gonna go to bed because guess what time I have to wake up tomorrow morning 2 a.m. <laughs> because I have to catch my flight at 5 30 and it was cheap but at what cost I just texted Justice who I'm going to Belgium with and I was like do you mind if I vlog like a blah 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 and it was so cringy but she said that that would be fun so I'm actually gonna vlog it so you will see me very soon reporting to you from Belgium. I hope you all have a great day enjoy that November pumpkin latte and I will see you from Brussels.